All right, welcome to the 2024 SEC Baseball Tournament Game 1 press conference. We're joined by Georgia head coach Wes Johnson, along with catcher Fernando Gonzalez. Coach Johnson will give an opening statement. We'll take questions directly to uh, Fernando first. Uh, Diego and Seth are on each, either side of the room. We'll be passing microphones, so please wait for the microphone and identify yourself when asking a question. Coach? Yeah, guys, I think there's times in this game when, you know, you uh, – you get beat, and then there's times uh, you let the other team win. And, and you look at the way we play today, and I feel that's where it is. I mean, we give up 11 singles. We walk too many guys. We miss too many fastballs in the strike zone. So, I, I, you know, I can't say, obviously, we uh, came out prepared and ready to go. I, I thought our preparation was fine. I just we, – we, we just uh, – we did some things that are very uncharacteristic for us. And, you know, our pitching, we walk too many guys. It's really hard. There's no manual to overcome, you know, a starter going a third of an inning. You, you just got to try to minimize damage. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's my opening take. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions directed to uh, Fernando. If you please raise your hand and right here on the front row on the right. Hey, Fernando. Anthony Dasher, UJSports.com. I mean, the first inning, Jarvis obviously did not have it. Just kind of what were you seeing from him and why it was such an issue today? Uh, just, uh, you know, it's hard to defend walks. Uh, it's hard to defend uh, barrels. That's it. Um, I thought he was well prepared for the game. Uh, just things didn't go his way. All right, in the second row in the center. Joe Healy, D1 Baseball. Um, what was the scout going into the game on, on Gage Jump? What did you guys expect to see, and what did he do so effectively against you guys today? He was really good at filling up the zone. And then, um, like Coach said, we were just missing the fastballs and pitches in the zone. Um, I thought he, he did a really good job just staying there, not walking guys. Um, we just didn't execute the plan. Right here in the front row. Hi, Fernando, big picture question. Um, now, you know you guys are going to the NCAA tournament. You're going to get the host of a regional. When it comes to resetting now, forgetting the past, so to speak, what's going to be to some of the keys the team has to do between now and Friday of a week to get back on track? No, we definitely have some time to reset. Um, obviously, you go back and you, you just got to remember different. Like Coach says all the time, is we just got to remember different uh, what this feels like and don't let it happen again. Just keep winning games. Second row. Yeah. Similarly, on that note, uh, how much do you take it upon yourself as, as, a, as a veteran, a leader of this team, to, to have the perspective of, yeah, this didn't go great, but we've got obviously bigger things to focus on moving forward? Yeah, I think it's it's a pretty easy job for me and and some of the older guys too because we have such an, an old team. Um, we got we have guys that have been in the postseason and and they know what it is to just reset, flip the page, and, and keep going. Um, so it's definitely something we're going to work on uh, for the next couple of days. In the back row on the right, John Eats with WFB in Baton Rouge. Question for Coach. Um, Let's hold it for just a second. Oh, I'm sorry. If there's anything uh, else for a student? Yeah, I'll save it for Coach. Then. Thank you. Any other questions for Fernando? If not, Fernando, thank you for your time. I appreciate of course. it. Thank you. All right, if you want to ask a question for Coach Johnson now, that'd be great. Sorry. Of course. Uh, Coach, that's one of the more complete performances we've seen from LSU's offense this year, just inning one to inning nine. From your perspective, what were they doing today to give you guys trouble? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know what the answer is to that question. I think it's the other way around. I mean, we walked uh, seven. Uh, we had some leverage counts where we left the ball in the middle of the plate. Um, and we give up 11 singles. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it, it's, you know, I, I don't evaluate the other team. As, I evaluate my team, and, and my team didn't execute today. So I, I, don't, I can't, you know, I, I don't know uh, if that was one of their better performances or not, just – we didn't execute. That's the way I'll, I'll answer that. Okay, in the front row, in the center. Coach Riley with the Advocate. Uh, coach, how, what was it like getting the coach against uh, Coach Jay after obviously the familiarity that you two have from last season? It's just another game, man. You, you know, it's about 27 outs. It's about executing pitches. Um, it's about going up, you know, to the plate with a plan, and and executing your plan there. And like I say, I mean, 
you know, today we, we, we didn't execute neither phase, in my opinion. And when you do that, it doesn't matter who you play. Uh, you know, you're going to put yourself in a, in a position that's vulnerable not to win the ball game. First row on the right. Reason again yesterday about uh, you know, about attacking the strike zone and and for, and for the those issues to crop up again today like a, a day after you spoke about how disappointing is that that standpoint? I don't know if it's disappointing. It just means we got a lot of work to do, right? The good news is, is we got I, I don't know the days. I'm like uh, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten days to work on it. So in the front row on the left, Alex Day, College Baseball Central, Coach. Uh, do you feel like your team has created you know? Uh, a resume that you know that the, the uh, committee would be willing to you know get a host or, or maybe even a, a top eight seed. Uh, I, you know I, I don't get too caught up in that, but I'll definitely say I think we're worthy of hosting. I mean, you win 17 games in our league. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff out there about teams getting in with 12 and 13 potentially, and so it's like if they're going to get in with potentially 13 regular season wins, um, and, and then we won 17. Uh, yeah, I, it would that 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 math to me. Uh, doesn't add up. I, I, national seeds, that, that's out of my guy. You know, there, there's a lot of factors that have to play out this week, but I do think we are worthy of hosting. Front row. Coach, as you uh, begin your preparation uh, for regional, do you want your team to remember uh, the sting of losing what it's like, and can that help a program moving forward? No, I, I don't worry about stings. I, I worry about each day you got, you know, no matter who you are or what, what, uh, what you do in life, whether it, it is, you know, wherever. You have to have the mindset of every single day you have two choices. You can wake up and get better or you can get worse. There's no carpool lane in life. You don't just get to sit and hang out. Um, and so our mindset isn't regardless of how today goes. We have things we know we've got to get better at. And we've got, like I say, seven, eight, nine, ten days, whatever it is, to work on that. And we will. And, and our mindset has to be to get better every single day we take the baseball field. Any more questions for Coach Johnson? If not, thank you, Coach. Good luck in the postseason.